Yo, what is up everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the second trading video on my channel. Now, I did one last week. If you haven't seen the one, please check it out. In this video, I'm going to be explaining you guys all the possible ways to make profit in trading. So as you can see, here's a list of things I'll be going over in this video. And if you want to see something in particular, you can just click on it and you will skip ahead into the video wherever I talk about that part. <clears throat> all right, so you didn't click on anything. Let's get on with the video. So let's get on to the first thing in this video that I want to show you. It's a website called skinmp.com or skinmarketplace.com. Now this website is a little bit different from the other trading sites because on this website you can deposit your skins on the site and you'll receive your skin worth in SK points, which you can use to trade on the site either to trade with other people that put up an instant trade for SK points for a skin or maybe to withdraw a skin from the marketplace again. Now note that there's a small deposit fee on the website but the fee is rather small and that's why I think it's a good website because it has a nice idea behind it. Now let me show you how it works. As you can see, I'm on the site right now and I'm depositing two of my skins. Now, whenever I deposit those skins, I need to go to the marketplace in order for me to get the credits on the website. So you have the availability of trading the items on the site before you're turning them into credits. So you can just trade the items or you can turn them into the credits which I'm going to turn them into the credits so I can show you guys that I'm withdrawing this knife. Now guys, don't worry if you're looking at my inventory and I don't have the knife. This is just an example of to show you guys how the site works. So the knife is being given away by the website. So if you're going over to the giveaway tab on the page, the knife should be there once this video is up. Uh, what you do is you click on enter and whenever you have a skin MP in your name, you get more entries every hour. So why would you not do that? <laughs> Now in the video from last year, I showed you guys a method on how to trade with CSGO Double, but in the meantime that this video has been up, CSGO Double does not work anymore. And from that method that I showed you guys, sites like CS.Money and TradeskinsFast were born. So I'm over at TradeskinsFast.com and the method I'm going to show you guys has to do with knowledge about skins. So what these sites are for is, for example, whenever you want to trade your skins where you get bored of them, you can trade them for a new skin on the website with a little bit of a percentage loss. But what I think is a very nice way to trade on this website is inspect the items that are on the website and sometimes you may be lucky and maybe get a really nice case hardened item, an item with a nice float and items like those can for example be traded on CSGO Lounge or SkinMP.com to collectors or people who are interested in an item with a nice float pattern or whatever. Now how do you find the float of an item you may ask? The first thing you want to do is you want to right click on an item on the website TradeSkinsFast.com and there will appear a little inspect button and you want to right click on that button and you want to copy the URL and paste it onto CSGO Zone's main page on the Steam Inventory page thing. And that way the site will recognize where the item is coming from and what item it is. And it will show you all the information that you need to know about the float. And whenever you have found yourself a trader who wants your item with a special float pattern or whatever on it, you get an item with a higher value because he wants to pay more for an item with a certain like special thing on it. You do the same process again, you go to tradeskinsfast.com again and you search for another item. Of course, this has to do with luck and knowledge about skins and knowing how to talk to people and tell them that this skin is really nice. This does require skill and luck, so this would be in a hard way, but if you're good at this stuff, you can actually make a lot of money off this method. Now, also another method on websites like Tradeskins Fast, you have a plugin for your Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. And that plugin lets you see how much uh, value the items have whenever you're trading it in your Steam browser. So sometimes sites like Tradeskins Fast do not have the accurate price of an item. And on Steam Analyst, the price might be higher. And basically what that plugin does is check the price for you in the trade. And whenever you're accepting, you can see how much your item has been valued at whenever you're trading it. So that way you can check if you're actually covering the little fee that the site is taking. So you can directly make profit off the site like that. The plugin is called Steam Inventory Helper, by the way. The link is in the description, guys. Boom, let's get to the next trading method, the one that I don't like, the one that is overused, the one that everyone uses always, and that is actually still working. So this method is one-on-one -on -one trading. The only thing you need to know is to go to steamanalyst.com, type in what item you have, look at the value, and look for items that are priced $1 over the item that you have. Go to any trading site you want, search for an item that has a little bit more value than the item that you have, and spam everyone with trade offers. Now, I fucking hate this and I got spammed so much back in the day by people who, wanting to make profit like this, but it actually does work because some of my friends actually made a lot of profit doing it like this, but I just don't like doing it this way, but it still works. 
Now for the next trading method, I'm going to be talking over key trading. Now I have not actually been a key trader for myself, but I do know that it is a very effective way still nowadays to trade with CSGO skins. The best way for me to explain to you guys how to trade with keys is by showing you guys a little equation. So as you can see, there's a little equation on the screen right now, which has A times P divided by 0.8 equals M. The A stands for the amount of the keys, the P stands for the price of the keys, and the M stands for the maximum price of the item. So for example, you have 10 Chroma 2 case keys. In USD, that's $2.58 per key. That would mean you do 10 times 2.58 divided by 0.8 and you would come out on a total of $32.25. Now the next thing you want to do is find a gun that is about $32, $33 of worth and go onto CSGO Lounge, try and find people who want to trade their item that you're looking for for your keys. Now once you succeeded in that, you want to go over with the item to the Steam Marketplace and sell your item for the highest possible price on the market of course. And once you have sold the item, you want to actually rebuy the keys and go over the same process again. That's actually how simple it is, but the only downside about this trading method is that you get like a trade band keys because you can't use them whenever you bought them from the game. So yeah, that's kind of a problem, but you know, the profit would be good if you trade like this. So I think it's worth the wait. Now for the next method that I want to tell you guys, it's the method that I explained to you guys last year, if you have seen my video from last year. It is the method whenever you downgrade for an overpay. Now, nowadays it's way harder because you have those websites like Trade Skins Fast, which actually do the work for you and they're way faster. They take no hustle to talk to anyone. So this method is still possible, but it would be way harder. So what the method actually is, is whenever you have a skin that people want, they are paying you in a higher value, but they're also giving you more skins. So they are upgrading their item and you're downgrading it, but you're gaining more value. And that way you can keep on continuing doing this method. But um, you need to make sure that you cover the fees that the website is asking you to pay for the trading service they provide. Now guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, if I forgot anything, or you think there's a trading method that important that everyone should know about. Or maybe you want to keep it for yourself for that cheeky profit. Please let me know in the comments so everyone could know about it. I might pin your comment, you know. If you if you have like a really good comment, you know. I might pin that shit. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave the video a like. Follow me on Twitter at MattSeesAss. Because I do see ass. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, guys. Sorry if I might cut out the outro part a little bit.